Hey you guys, it's Peter, and welcome to my channel! Peter! Boom, 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 review stuff. And I am back for another In the Kitchen review. Someone's in the kitchen with Peter. Could it be you? Hi, how are you doing today? I am really, really excited about this review. Now, I know I say that a lot on my channel, that I'm really excited about this review or that review, but this review, I am super excited about. This is something that I saw on Instagram for literally months, and then finally, I ordered it. So, I'm going to review it over here today, and this is, hold on, put my reading glasses on for you. Today, you're always, you already saw it in the title, but I am reviewing the Milk Street Coffee Sugar Sampler Pack. So, I have two cups of coffee right here. Here's one. Hi, this is like a little coffee meeting. Two cups of coffee. And I have uh, clear cups so that you guys can see the process, okay? And yes, I did bite the side of my mouth again while I was sleeping last night. So I'm having a hard time speaking. So my lisp is back. Hello, lisp. How are you doing? <laughs> Welcome to Peter Mon grade one. Okay, so um, I got on this website now. Do you guys like uh, roll through Instagram and you see things for sale all the time and you're like, should I buy this? Does this look good? Is this stupid? Or whatever. So I kept on seeing these things on this website called Milk Street. Now, oh, losing my card. When I went to Milk Street, they have tons of items over there. It's kind of like um, a little bit of like a smaller version of Williams Sonoma. But they have some really cool things over there. They have shot, or they have cooking utensils. They have other kind of things that you can put it use for cooking. So here's a little uh, card. It says Christopher Kimball's Milk Street changed the way you cook on here. And then on the back, let me read this to you. It has a little note card. It says, I founded Milk Street in 2016 to change the way we cook at home. Bigger, bolder flavors, fresher food, plus easier and quicker cooking techniques. We travel the world to cook with everyday home cooks. They have a great deal to teach us about flavors textures, and technique. It really is a whole new culinary world. A whole new culinary world. <laughs> That's the Disney movie we didn't know we needed. Most of the ingredients we call uh, for at Milk Street can be found in your local supermarket. However, our online store is there to give you access to everything you might need, as well as higher quality versions of many of these products from spices to sauces, from flowers to syrups. We all have, my lisp is bad today. We have also designed some of our own pieces, including a selection of unique knives and have assembled hard to find tools and cookware that we think are worth the investment, whether it's a Japanese rice cooker, glazed Mexican cookware, or a ginger grater. It isn't just the results that count, it's the pleasure in the process. Thanks for shopping, Christopher, Christopher, Christopher Kimball. So here's what I ordered. I ordered the Milk Street Coffee Sugar Sampler Pack. It was on sale when I bought it. This is not an invoice, it says. I don't remember. I think it was $26. It was $52, marked down to $26. So let me show you what these are. I had seen these over and over and over again on Instagram, and I was like, finally, like, I am going to buy these. So this is what they are. They're these, like, sugar packs. They're actually a lot more than I thought would be in these. Um, and these are the ones that I got. There's this, so this is a sampler pack. I got the Turkish cardamom spice coffee sugar. So you put this supposedly right in your sugar. Coconut ginger cream coffee syrup. <laughs> coffee syrup. <laughs> syrup. Coffee sugar. Okay. Coconut ginger and garam masala. The other one is exotic cardamom blended with rich cinnamon vanilla and bittersweet, co bittersweet cocoa. I cannot speak today. Honey spice. Tea sugar, honey, lavender, and mint, bright, bold, and warming honey sugar heightened with spices and uh, aromatic mint lavender finish. So this is for your tea. And then caramel brulee, coffee, sugar, white chocolate, vanilla, and cinnamon, buttery rich, uh, butter, uh, bitter, <laughs> bitter, sweet, bitter, bitter, <laughs> sweet caramel flavors with a creamy malted finish. Okay. Mexican mocha, coffee, sugar, chipotle, chili, chocolate, and vanilla. Bold, bittersweet, dark chocolate balanced with warm cinnamon and a spicy chipotle chili finish. And then burnt sugar, orange spice, coffee, sugar, orange, vanilla, and cinnamon. From New Orleans, a bold and bittersweet blend of orange and spicy cinnamon. So these are exclusive to Milk Street. You can only get them there. Um, <clears throat> let me see on the back. Okay, the, they're all between 20 and 25 calories. Um, they have zero fat, 
zero sodium, five grams of uh, carbs, which is the sugars, five sugars, and no protein. They're all the same. Okay, well, some of them are six sugars. All between five and six sugars and 20 to 25 um, calories per serving, which is one teaspoon. So let me read you the back. I'm just going to pick the Mexican mocha coffee sugar. On the back here it says, um, the rich blend comes from the markets of Oaxa, Mexico, where whole cocoa beans are ground um, smooth on cornerstone and, I can't read that word, with raw sugar, warm spices, and smoky dry chilies. The aromatic paste is then blended into hot water where its bold flavor is sharp and clear. Let me look up on my phone really quick um, the, what do you call it, the uh, Milk Street sugar so I can give you guys a little idea of what we're supposed to be doing with these. I should have probably had this prepared. I made the coffee! I did a good job before. Milk Street coffee. Oh, shoot. I just... Milk <sighs> Street coffee sugar. Here it is. Okay. Um, all right. I'm going to read you what it says right here. A sampler is marked down from 5370 to 2685 right now. Um, in the Middle East, coffee is often served with a cardamom, and in Mexico, hot chocolate is served with a hint of chilies. Um, okay, wait. This got us thinking that coffee sugar infused with spice blends might be an excellent way to turn even a mediocre cup of coffee or office coffee into something special. And then it goes through here and it tells you the different flavors that you can get. Uh, best used with your morning cup of coffee or ramp up hot chocolate. Sprinkle it over oatmeal with some sliced bananas and walnuts or dust a little on pancakes or cinnamon rolls. More details. Let's hear more details. Okay, and then it goes in here and just talks about each one that you can get. Um, yeah. Not sure how you'd use it. We uh, well, we test everything we sell. Here's how we use it. Oh, this is just the Mexican one. So you can go in there and you can read about each one. Which one should I do? Well, I'm not going to do the tea one because um, that's specific for tea. I might come back and do that one later. Caramel brulee. Oh, my God. Or burnt sugar orange spice. Those two sound good. Coconut ginger cream. I'm going to pass. Um, Turkish cardamom spice. So I'm going to either in the mocha, the Mexican mocha coffee sugar. So this is more for hot chocolate, they said, but I think that I'm going to um, try this in the coffee. And then, which one should I do? Well, you know what I can do? Oh my God, I'm so smart. How did I get so smart? Okay, I can't. How many do I have? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we're just going to, um, we're going to, here, I need to pick the best cups ever. Hold on a second. <laughs> this is like an adventure. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I'm gonna pour a little bit into some of these coffee, these cups. Okay, ooh, I'm making a mess now. I'm basically a mix master. So <laughs> that's not enough coffee. <laughs> Okay, so now I have five cups, and I'm going to try each of them. So the first one I'm going to try, just put it, I'm going to put a little bit in because most of these cups don't have a lot in here now. So you can see there's just very little, very little cup of coffee in that one. Okay, so, ooh, it smells good. This is the Mexican one. It smells like kind of spicy chocolate. I'm going to put a little bit in there. I need a, a red spoon for today. This is so fun. Oh, that's delish. Oh, my mom would love that one so much. Because she'd always love to mix like hot chocolate with coffee. It tastes very much like um, hot chocolate and coffee mixed together. Oh, that is really good and spicy. But spicy. But it doesn't taste like a red chili or anything like that. It just tastes like a spicy hot chocolate. Oh, well, that's good. Okay, that's the Mexican mocha coffee sugar. So we're going to give that a 5 out of 5. I would definitely use that one again. Okay, what's the next one? Here's, I have to go buy a new stove top because look, <laughs> I burnt the plastic on here in my other review the other day. This is the Turkish cardamom spice. Okay. Uh-oh. 
spilling out of the top already. Okay. Ooh, it's packed full. There's really a lot in these. Can you see? There's a lot in these packages. Ooh, it smells real spicy. Okay. Let's try this one. I don't think I have enough in there. Cheers. Mmm, it's good. But I definitely, like, it's very spicy. And it's probably not my, I w it wouldn't be my go-to one. I definitely like the Mexican mocha off of that. But this, this reminds me of like an after-dinner coffee. It hits your nose before it hits your mouth. <laughs> Do you love my Christmas coffee cup? Um, I'm going to give that one a four. I think it's cool, but like, I don't know that I would like, if I tried it, I'd be like, oh, that was a cool concept, like at a restaurant, but I don't know that I would like definitely like have to have it again. Okay, since I set the coconut ginger cream aside, let's try that one. Let's let it all settle to the bottom. So this one is coconut ginger and garam masala. I just think this whole concept is so cool. And it's gonna go so well over my coffee bar over there. Okay. This one is white, like coconut. The other ones were not. This is my new coffee cup that I got at Target, and I love it so much. It was $4.99. Okay, this smells like chicken masala. I'm not even lying to you guys. You guys, have you ever had chicken masala? Okay. Yeah, it has a very, like, curry taste to it. But I like this. This is interesting. I don't even know how to explain it. This is like August. It's like 100 degrees outside. And you want a cup of coffee that really makes you feel like being outside. This is that. This is really, really good. I'm kind of surprised. This is the one that I did not want to try. It's very curry taste to it. Does it say curry on there? Okay, I don't even know how to explain this, but if you've ever had anything masala, this is like chicken masala or whatever, this is like, it tastes like that. And it smells like that too. It's delicious. Oh, I like that one a lot. Okay, burnt sugar orange spice. I'm excited about this one. This one is like packed to the very top. I can't even open it, it's so packed. Well, you get your money's worth, I will say that. Okay. Ooh, this smells like an uh, orange with cloves in it, you know, that you have for Christmas. Okay. Cheers. This is my Vancouver uh, Starbucks. People send me uh, cups from Starbucks from all over the world. Isn't that so cool? I have one just like this from Korea that I just used for my literature meeting the other day. You want to see? I'll show it to you. Because you're so nice. See, it says Korea. Okay. People send those to me from all over the world. I love it. Okay. This is good. It has a very holiday taste to it. Like I said, it reminds me of, like, the orange with the cloves in it. This is good, though. I give this one a five, too. What did I give the last one? I would give the last one a five. The only one I haven't really loved yet is the Turkish uh, cardamom spice. The coconut ginger was masala. Was that, did it say masala on there? Cream. Coconut ginger cream. That one was really good, too. Okay, and then the last one I have. I can't close this. Oh, the thing is broken inside. I'll figure it out later. The last one is the caramel brulee coffee sugar. I mean, these things are packed to the top, you guys. You really get a lot for your money. I will say that. And they're delicious. Ooh. This one smells so good. And I hardly have any coffee in this cup, so... I'm not gonna put tons in there. Ooh. 
Ooh, that tastes just like caramel brulee or uh, cream brulee dessert. Oh my god. I love these. And you know one of the things I love about this is like, this is really good. This is a five out of five. The only one I really did not like was the second one. The tur I mean, I liked it. I just didn't like it as well as the others. The Turkish cardamom spice. The thing about this is that's so fantastic. Like, I will definitely continue to buy these. I don't, I don't even think they're that expensive. The thing about it is that um, if you, I should probably just, I don't, I don't have any coffee to try this honey spice tea sugar, but I'm just going to put my finger in it and taste it. The thing about it is it's so fantastic. Is that like, let's say if you buy like an entire container of like hazelnut coffee or one of these, like a flavored coffee, that every time that you have that coffee, you have to make that flavored coffee. Does that make sense? Like I love the toasted uh, Graham Starbucks coffee, but like I made, this is just regular coffee that I made. I think it's community coffee from, um, somebody sent me a box of community coffee from Louise, Louisiana. But anyway, so, like, with these, like, you could just get regular coffee, and then if you were wanting the flavor of something different, you could have it in there. And I think that that would be fantastic. Okay, I'm just going to put a little bit on the spoon and try this. That is so good! Honey, spice. It's really spicy. But it's like honey and sugar together, and then spice. You guys, these are fantastic. Hold on a second. So five out of five overall to the concept and five out of five to all of them except for the Turkish cardamom spice. I would give that one a four out of five, but they're all really, really good. So go try them and let me know what you think. And I love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.